We're Connaissance and we're a Technovation team from Eden High School. The our our <laughs> app, A Plus French, uh, was submitted to the Technovation uh, competition. Yes, so we designed this app because we found that students transferring from grade 8 to grade 9, so from elementary to high school, were, were struggling with the workload changing from elementary to high school and like just the advancement of it. So we wanted to create an app to help, um, to help fix that. Yeah, so our app, to get started, you just press the get started button and then you can choose to sign up, log in, or use as guests. For this demonstration, we'll be using it as a guest. So, use as guests, and we have uh, these. We have the four major strands for learning French, and compared to our competitors like Duolingo, another language learning app, um, it's all mashed together. So we wanted to separate the four because we found that students struggling, they usually struggled in one specific subject. So you could be struggling in writing, so you couldn't write an essay in French, you were just not getting it, but you could speak it perfectly fine. So in Duolingo, for example, it would just be like all mashed together, it's just all one and it's very cramped, you know? Yeah. With us, we spaced it out and we made it, and we made it separate. Yeah, for example, in the grade nine curriculum that we base this off of, we do a lot of reading comprehension and in Duolingo, you don't really get the chance to do that much. So we made a, a section dedicated to those um, reading tests and all that stuff. Yeah. So for writing, we have four functions, a translator, writing tips, verb conjugation, and your personal dictionary. So I'm just going to show you guys the personal dictionary. Here you can add a word you don't know. So I'm just going to type in uh, salut. And in English, it is hi. This gives you a personalized experience compared to other websites. And if you were to sign up and create your account, when you were to log back in, it would save it and keep it there for you so you could continue to add on to the list. Yeah, say you're writing, writing an essay and you need a lot of um, terms that you're not quite sure of, you can just add them here. So you press add, it'll add it to the list. And then you can press it once you're done with it and you can delete it and then it will be gone and you can add new words. And it never gets full, you can always continue to add. So we can go into writing tips and this would help if, you're, if you are struggling in writing an essay, it will give you five separate reading tips and it can help you and all you have to do is just hold the function and it will disappear. So next we can go into reading. So this is again for the reading comprehensions compared to Duolingo and other sites that don't allow this. So we have a different difficulty levels in, in ranging and so we're going to tap on the easiest one. So this is just a paragraph and it's generated and it will generate a random question. So this one would be where, is, where was the Eiffel Tower created? And then we're just going to type... Who created? Or yes, who created the <laughs> Eiffel Tower? My bad. And then once you type it in, then um, you can check your answer and it will tell you if you're either correct or incorrect. And if it's incorrect, it will give you a chance. So, but this is what the screen looks like so if you got it correct. I typed in the answer and then I press the answer button and it'll tell me if I got it right. No. So go back and speaking. Yes, so for speaking, it'll generate a word and it can also give you tips and tricks to work on your speaking. So um, here it would generate a random word and then you would have to say it back to it, essentially. Heure d'ouverture. So I don't, so I don't think it hurt me, but. Heure d'ouverture. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is kind of bad, so it's right. struggling to understand, but it does work. Uh, as again, hold it down and then it'll disappear. You have uh, speaking tips and presentation tips. And the presentation tips aren't just in handy for French, it can also be for English or history or geography. If you ever need to do like a presentation outside of French, it still comes in handy. Yeah, and a lot of this, I don't think I mentioned this, but it was based off of the grade nine French Ontario curriculum. Yeah. So a lot of this stuff we did take from our textbooks and we did um, do a lot of research to make this app. And finally, for listening, 
we have recognizing words and conversation. So for recognizing words, you can press the button, it will say a word, and then you can type it here, and you can check if your answer, if you type the right thing. And then for conversations, you press the button, it will, um, it will read to you a passage, and then you can answer these two multiple choice questions. Yeah. And, and in the future, we're working on broadening this app so it's not just specific for the grade nines. It can be for lower levels, so like elementary schools, so that you can work up to the grade nine. And then once we work on that, we can surpass the grade nine and work up to the higher levels in French. Also, another possibility is we can make this for different provinces and for uh, tailor it to their curriculums because right now it's just for Ontario because that's where we are but we can make this for um, say Nova Scotia, New Brunswick yeah. and yeah. Newfoundland and Labrador, anything. Yeah, so that's our app. Great. Awesome.